Hi everyone, this is Vidhi Rao. In this video, you will learn how to interface JSON module with computer. And uh, uh, we are using this JSON module, but uh, uh, procedure will remain same, whatever JSON module you, you will use. So this is the input of JSON module. You will supply a passport here. And uh, uh, these are the RX and TX, uh, RX and TX keys of microcontroller. And uh, so you can see, uh, uh, we have different things here. But you can, uh, if you uh, see closely, we have RX and TX key, and uh, we will be using these keys to communicate with the computer. To connect this module with computer, we need uh, we need this uh, USB to TTL converter, and uh, through, through this USB to TTL converter, we will convert this JSM module. Uh, data form over JSON module to uh, we will send it to computer so what we will do we will simply connect uh, uh, rx pin uh, of this module uh, to uh, tx pin of uh, JSON module uh, tx pin and similarly we will connect tx pin of this module to RX pin of GSM module and ground of both uh, USB to uh, serial converter and GSM module should be common so we will connect, connect ground pin of GSM module with uh, ground of Yes, to detail connector. So now we we'll use this USB cable to connect it to our system. So let's connect it. So we have connected with our system. So you can see we have connected to our system. This is the GSM module. This is the GSM module. This is the USB to detail converter. This is the GSM module. So now let's connect uh, this. These are some simple connections. Now we connect power supply. Uh, we will get, we will get five volts to the SMB. So just connect. Plus and minus electric box is of the as soon as I, as soon as I turn on uh, power supply as you can see DSM will become on and you can check it with the help of this uh, this LED and the different DSM tools have different uh, different uh, type different pin outs you can easily check them but uh, some kind of GSM modules have uh, uh, power key pin it uh, 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 what you will do with power key uh, pin you will just uh, at the start you will give uh, it zero volt then after uh, few seconds you will give them uh, power key pin uh, five volts of two seconds and then your GSM will, will come on but, but this module has built in a functionality so when you need to uh, do anything with uh, over uh, over keeping so this is a simple connection of interfacing GSM with PC so let's move to uh, US, uh, your, ter uh, your terminal PC and check how can we can interface how can we uh, uh, configure our JSM module and how can we send AT command to this JSM module How to with GSM so um, I have already shown how to connect JSM module uh, with, with PC using uh, FDI USB to serial converter and in Proteus we have a COM pin which can physically connect we can physically connect with uh, over uh, uh, hardware so this is a COM pin and we have connected RXD pin with this virtual terminal and TXD with the virtual terminal we have make same connections because we have already converted the connection on hardware in hardware 
है as you can see we have already connected tx and uh, tx uh, and rx rx and tx in inverted fashion so in proteus we will connect it in same fashion so uh, first of all you need to uh, set comp pin here and the baud rate baud rate should be 9600 and comp pin, uh, comp pin 3 and comp pin should be uh, uh, the pin uh, to which your module has been connected you can check it through device manager as well and you also need to uh, uh, set the baud rate of uh, uh, virtual terminal this is virtual terminal so now let's run the simulation and now we'll send at and gsm will respond with okay now we'll send yes and at gms will respond with okay and similarly at plus cm gf is equal to one it will set uh, it, this mod will set the gsm modem in correct mode now let's send a message to uh, any number using uh, gsm module so uh, let's say t plus cm g uh, s is equal to uh, let's use it to one five zero one two zero seven five this is the number to which we want to send message and enter ok now uh, with this greater than sign you will write your sms for example we want to send Bilal so what we will do and we will click control z ok when you press control z it will send the sms as you can see we have received, received the same message uh, from, uh, from the same this message is Bilal so this is the last message you will see this is Bilal so similarly when i will call uh, on this number you can see him calling to this number so uh, it will uh, it will show on virtual terminal someone is calling uh, here is a ring ring message is receiving here so someone is calling if you have a help connected you can receive the call through the commands let's send sms uh, for example we are sending uh, testing and we will receive same SMS on uh, we have sent testing and we will receive SMS here. So it will take some time before message is sending. Uh, as you can see, we have received the message test testing, but we also receive this string. So you, to use the SMS module, you have to uh, get message from this string. Uh, for example, this is uh, you always see plus cnt, then number, then date, and then time, and this is the actual message. So you have to use some kind of string parsing to get this message to, to get actual um, message. Actual message always comes at the end. So this is the method to interface JSON module with um, uh, computer. So you can use similar method to interface microcontroller with JSM. Uh, for example, uh, now we are sending AT. So uh, we're getting OK. Uh, you, we are sending these commands manually. Then, then, but, uh, then in case of microcontroller, you will uh, you will uh, store this commands in uh, in the form of string in microcontroller, and uh, you, you will send microcontroller will send them automatically. So thanks for watching this. Video. If you want to uh, learn how to interface GSM with microcontroller, you can check the link in the description of this video. Thanks.